Hey everyone, it's Cobra Zach. And in today's video, we're gonna go through the process of setting up your 18R2 and 18M firing module and getting them ready for manual fire. So the process is really easy. Of course, you'll need your controller and you'll need your firing module. In this example, this firing module is a nine volt module, but the process is pretty much the same if you're using one of our rechargeable LiPo modules. So first let's go ahead and get the batteries into the module. You'll want to make sure that you are using Energizer batteries. They're the ones that can provide the best output needed to make sure your show goes off successfully. So let's go ahead and put those in. And because nobody wants to sit here watching me put batteries in a module, let's go ahead and speed that up. Perfect, so we've got the batteries in the module and that one is ready to go. Let's go ahead and put them in the controller. Once again, Energizer batteries are your best bet and the ones we recommend. The controller, it takes three AA batteries, okay? Go ahead and put those in. Fantastic, so we've got the batteries in the controller and in the module. We've got our antennas on. Of course, the antennas are interchangeable. So you don't have to worry if you've got the module antenna on the controller or vice versa. Perfect, let's go ahead and turn them on, putting the 18M into test mode and just turning the controller into the on position. Now, as your controller and module boot up, they're gonna go through a bit of a process and they're gonna relay information on the operations and the battery life of your devices. Once they're fully turned on, we're gonna go ahead and hold the sync button on the controller till it says P for program. And let's do the same on the 18M until it says P for program. From here to sync the two devices, you'll just wanna press and hold sync on both until the module reboots and you'll see it's gonna display your address information and gonna go through the normal boot up process there. Okay. So we are now synced. Uh, we can go ahead and turn the controller off and turn it back on. The controller doesn't reboot just because if you need to go ahead and sync other modules, it's gonna make that process a lot easier for you. So once everything is fully uh, booted up, you'll notice that the sync LED on both your devices is flashing. Okay, so that's just letting you know that the two devices are communicating with each other. Perfect. So let's go ahead and turn the module off and we're gonna connect an igniter. There are two types of igniters. We've got the Talon igniter and then we've got the MJG initiator or electric match. One of the key things to know when you're connecting your igniter to the module is to make sure if you're using our standard wire connection that you're not putting those wires too far into the module, uh, potentially causing something to not fire. So a tip we do is we recommend you go ahead and bend the wire coming off of the igniter in a U shape, allowing for a more secure contact with the terminal inside your module. Okay. And let's go ahead and put those igniter wires in does not matter which one goes into the red or which one goes into the black. If you're using our quick plugs, just plug it in nice and easy, okay? So from here, we can go ahead and turn the module back into the test position. It's always good to have your module turned off when you're wiring things, just because safety is paramount. Okay, so once that is turned on, you'll notice it will start talking, the sync LED will flash again, and then we'll give it a second and we'll notice that if we go to channel three, which our module is set to, of course you can change that. Um, if we go to channel three, your green LED indicating that Q number one has an igniter has lit up green, okay? So we know we've got continuity, we're great. We can also go ahead and check our signal strength by pressing the sync button. You wanna make sure that the signal is anywhere between zero and negative 75. That's just gonna give you that assurance that your show is gonna go off without a hitch. So once we know that our signal strength is great, we've got continuity on our igniters, let's go ahead and put the module into the arm position, once again, letting it boot up. Key thing to know here, once this module is armed, you have a live show. Safety is number one, just make sure nobody's around the modules when you're doing any further testing, and of course, firing your Firex display. So once the modules boot back up, we can go ahead and we see we've got continuity again. And then you'll notice that uh, because of that, we see that we are now talking to that controller uh, and the module. So from here, let's go ahead and arm the module, allowing the arm LED to go solid before manually firing our show. 
and then you'll notice we've got zero modules now, and now it's saying we've got one module armed, and if you're looking at the 18M, you've got the arm LED solid as well. Perfect. So from here, that's it. Once you're ready to shoot your show, all you need to do is go ahead and grab your 18R2 controller, right? You've got your module, you've got your controller. We're on Q1 channel three, and let's go ahead and fire. There you go. Now do that a few more times with a, maybe a few more modules and connect all your fireworks, get out in the field and have an awesome time. If you have any questions throughout the process, feel free to reach out. We can be reached by email, uh, phone, instant chat, whatever works best for you. We're here to help. Until the next video, see you guys later.